Hey guys, so we're going to go over construction cost and specifically the cost, uh, my actual cost to build uh, rentals. So this is uh, a standard draw sheet. You can get this uh, for free down below. Just click a link or something and, and get it and uh, save you from copying all these uh, percentages and stuff. This is a standard draw sheet that banks use as well. So it'll help you with your budget. Um, uh, one disclaimer is that I, these numbers are grossed up just a little bit, uh, because I did not include my general contractor fee or I added it to all these numbers. So, um, this still works if you have like a cost plus contract. So I just didn't want to reveal how much I paid my general contractor. So, uh, and, uh, it does not include the lot cost. So, to me, that, that makes it more applicable and helpful to you because just lot cost varies so much uh, between projects. So with that started, uh, let's get to it. Uh, so hit like and subscribe first, and uh, you can get the spreadsheet down below if you want it for yourself. Okay, we're going to go over some cost savings things too, especially at the end. So keep, keep watching this. All right, so... I hit rock on this a uh, lot, so that was a big uh, 3400 bucks. so that was a big hurt you. And uh, I built two at a time, so my number was actually around a little less than 7000 so that's another benefit to building two at a time. All right, the foundation, that's just the block work for the crawl space. Uh, we're getting into framing. So a, a strategy that I like to use is – while something is being framed is not to make a draw on your construction line until it's uh, dried in. So if you can do that, you can save a lot of money on interest and you only have a couple, once it's dried in, you only have two months to finish, maybe three months anyway. So you only have two or three months of actual interest expense. So that's a big money saving tip. Um, I always tell my kids another money saving tip is if I get them to start doing the block work, but haven't, haven't gotten in, them in on that yet. So roofing is what it is. I actually get my roofing material, my nails from a separate supplier than shingles. That helps out. Uh, I've got great labor rates, as you can see. Just uh, I get my doors and windows for the same people that I get my lumber from. Great distributor. Uh, really good customer service. I like them. Be careful going cheap in those areas because you might get it cheaper, but if there's a problem, that's that's where it becomes an issue because uh, you probably can't get the next window for another 90 days or something. So that can really mess you up on your construction schedule. Um, you could do the insulation yourself. If uh, and uh, This sewer connection fee, that was... Uh, I don't know. For some reason, that's one of the ones I don't like paying. <laughs> but uh, you got to do it. Uh, the trim trim work. Uh, I always tell my wife when I get her to start doing it. She likes to do trim work. Actually, um, cabinets are a big area to save money in. Um, in the kitchen or in the bathrooms, just use like vanities from wherever you want, uh, and that's a way to get it cheaper. And in the kitchen for a rental. Uh, mine could be a lot less than this if I just did bottom cabinets. Uh, I do top because my contractor likes to do that. And um, I need it for my for an inspection to tie in with a, a, a hood vent. So it doesn't make much sense for me, but, uh, but for others, I would highly recommend looking at that. Uh, you can also like build, do butcher block for countertops. Again, my contractor doesn't like that, so we don't do it. My wife doesn't either, so we use seconds for granite. Um, but those are some big money saving tips. So fireplace, I do not have, but I have a line item because I wanted to give you all like a standardized uh, cost list um, garage floor. I don't have that as well. Uh, those two things I actually spent on that bill and dirt works. So that's why it's the same. Um, hardwoods, uh, another area for massive money saving. I would not do carpet. I don't do carpet. Uh, if you have any kind of tenants, it's, it's going to be disgusting um, in no time. So use engineered flooring for that. You should be around $2 a foot. You should be good. 
Uh, if you follow my YouTube channel, uh, me and my kids installed the flooring in my last couple of houses. It didn't go, didn't save us time or money. So I wouldn't really recommend doing that. Uh, plumbing got good rates there. Good HVAC guy. Uh, with gutters and downspouts, it's like you can actually design your roof so where you don't need gutters and downspouts. And I recommend that, but, uh, I don't know. I just don't mess with it. So it's just one of those things. You pick your battles. Uh, kitchen appliances, you get a good package deal at Ferguson. Should be good to go. My driveway, that's for a parking pad and uh, like an apron at the street. There's still gravel uh, for the main driveway. It would have been double that number if I would have actually uh, just paved everything. So uh, hopefully this helps. Uh, hit like and subscribe. Get the spreadsheet for yourself and play with this. So this is for a four bedroom, two bath house. It's just like 1200 square feet though. Um, so uh, anyway, ho hopefully this helps. I've, I've got this rented for 2250 and uh, it's doing real well. If you have any questions or comments, just hit, hit me up below. Thanks so much.